Hi, everyone. How's everybody doing? Just hang tight for a second. We'll be right with you. We are getting ourselves lined up and ready to go. Can you hear me, Noelle? I'm talking I now. Hear you. Hey, everyone. Oops. Doing? Turn that down. Okay. <clears throat> Hi, Elizabeth. Hi, Casey. Hi, Bernie. Hi, Sherry. Hey, Jan. All right, Noel. Sounds good. Good, good, good. Ciao. Hi, Ciao. Hi, Judy. Hey, Karen. Make sure you go to live chat. Live chat. Okay. Okay, I think we are set. Everybody can hear us and see us. Yes, everybody can hear us and see us. Yes. All right, I can hear you. I can see you. All right. Oh, wow. We got 43 yeah. people already. Yeah. Let me find my stamps. How was your day? We're excited, girls. We're so excited our Steelers won. Holy yes. moly. Yes. You guys don't even understand how much I was yelling at the TV. I am surprised that I'm not hoarse. I'll probably feel it more tomorrow. But oh that was exciting. It was nail biting. Oh, my. Hi, Noelle. Hi, Kay. Hi, Stephanie. Hi, Cynthia. Eileen. Jen. Sandy, Bernie, Laura, Ann, Bonnie, Emily, Jana, Laura. I think I said Laura already. <laughs> Elizabeth, Stephanie, Gloria, Kim, Jan, Oops. Sherry. Oh, wow. wow, so many people. Hi, Christine, neighbor Christine, Judy, <laughs> Linnea. Oh my gosh, Vicki, Francis, Susan. Wow, 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 Susie. If I missed anybody, I'm sorry. Hi, Sherry. Hi, Terry. All right, all right, all right. Hello, everybody. Um, I had an exciting day. Well, it wasn't exciting. It was a good day. It's a good day off. Let's say that. Good. Leah and I went fishing. I if you didn't today. see the it's... pictures, she kicked my butt. She caught two bass, one right after the other. And I caught nothing. Hey, Ryan. Ryan, you should be in bed. You need to catch up with your sleep. Hey, Ryan. I took a two-hour nap today, which is great for me. Wow. Not about taking a nap. It just never happened. <laughs> My Halloween decorations put away. All right. So here's a question. I'm taking a poll here. Um. How many of you are putting your Christmas decorations up already? Because I don't generally do it until right around Thanksgiving. Like if you know, if you have people coming over for Thanksgiving, then you want to have like the tree and the decorations up. But my cousin made a very valid point on Facebook today. She started putting her Christmas decorations up. And I think partly because the weather is nice. So if you're going to be stringing lights and stuff like that outside, it's nice to do it when it's not 20 degrees out. But she made a very good point and said, 2020 has been crappy enough. Let the cheer begin. And I thought, you know, that's kind of a good, good thought about it, you know, about putting Christmas mm -hmm. decorations up early this year. Um, I think mm -hmm. I'm done Christmas shopping. I just went on Target and ordered the stuff the kids all circled in the Target magazine. So I'm pretty much done. <laughs> good. <laughs> Noelle says no. Terry says she put her tree up. Hey said no. She has not touched the bins. Elizabeth says December 1st. No company Sorry. for Thanksgiving. No, Ryan, I normally don't do Thanksgiving, although I did go grocery shopping yesterday to buy all of the fixins. I don't think I'll buy a turkey. Maybe I'll buy like a roasted chicken. I'm not a huge turkey fan, but I think I think maybe this year, maybe I'll cook Thanksgiving. We'll see. 
like a small get together. So everybody Don't say not pumpkin. until after Thanksgiving. Don't forget the pumpkin pie. Oh yes, I gotta buy a couple pies. Well, maybe I or won't need to buy roll. pie. You know, we'll never know. Uh, or, maybe or I'll tell my guests roll. to bring dessert. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Terry just sent me a picture of her tree. <laughs> and where's all Terry? Marco's hair? You are very Marco ambitious. Marco looks like he's bald. Poor dog. Who looks like he's bald? She sent a picture of the tree with her dog, and the dog is bald. Michelle, yeah. yeah, I know. I could not even like contain my enthusiasm. So let me tell you a quick story. We were at youth group tonight and our pastor, well, he's not our pastor. He's the other church's pastor. He kept looking at his phone and giving us score updates. So you know that that was a pretty big deal. <laughs> so, if the pastor was like, yeah, I stopping youth group to do an update. Well, I took Leah fishing and you know it was fun and I ha I always wear my Steelers hat that's my fishing hat and this one guy I know is a huge Cowboys hat and as we were leaving I kind of tried to harass him a little bit and I was like you know the uh -huh. Cowboys are going down tonight and he was like yeah I kind of bet my house on it and I was like really and then as the game was going so those of you that are not football fans I do apologize that the Steelers are the only team that I really like watch and root for and I have not watched a game all year I've been like keeping an eye on the score, but I've been doing other things. And today was the first time that I said, you know what? I'm not going to do anything else. I'm going to sit on the couch and I'm going to watch the whole game. And I did. And it was nice, but it was, oh my gosh, it was heart pumping. The uh, mm -hmm. Cowboys um, like were kicking our butt the whole first half of the game. There was a lot of stupid mistakes. With their and... fourth string quarterback. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> ben got hurt, of course. Um so it was nail biting to say the least. And I was like, oh no, I'm going to shoot myself in the, in the, what do they say? Stick your foot in your mouth now, because here I was tooting it on Facebook and Instagram and, you know, harassing all my friends that are Cowboys friends, fans. I mean, like, you guys are going down, yes. you're going down. And I was like, oh my gosh, I'm going to eat my words. And man, in the last quarter, in the last 10 minutes of the game, we scored. Yeah, I was like screaming. Yes, My kids were like, "Mom, you need to turn this off. We can't. We can't. Why have you screaming at the TV, Mom?" You're so, right, yeah. Gloria. Eight and zero. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Gloria, how's your son doing? Yeah, Gloria. Hi, Karen. Hi, Therese. Yes, this video is dedicated to Therese because she wanted to know how to stamp out these lovely trees. So Tracy and I are going to play with them. If you would like to order these trees, it's called multi-step trees. These are from Kitchen Sink Stamps. The link is down below. And if you're really, really nice, maybe Chow can put up the super secret discount code for you guys. Um. So we have multi-step trees and I'm also going to bring in multi-step watercolor thanks, which is a brand new um, stamp set for this year. Multi-step trees has been yes. out for a while, but the th watercolor thanks is brand new for this year. Don't forget when you guys are purchasing these stamps, you want to download the SVG. You put it in the basket at the same time as the stamps. When you're checking out, it will go from 99 cents to free. And what the SVG does is it works with your Scan and Cut. It works with your Silhouette Cameo. It works with your Cricut Air. It works with um, your Cricut Joy. So any of those electronic die cutting machines you have will die cut what you need for these. And with the thanks, you get a shadow die and you get an in inside die, which cuts a little closer to the thanks. And that's what um, Tracy's doing right now. She's cutting out her her images before she stamps. I'm just going to do one layer. So I just do stamping right away, but, um, it makes it, it makes it, um, so much easier because there's no dyes involved. You're saving money. Keep in mind that these are high quality photopolymer stamps. When you get the stamps, they come with this color layering guide, which I like to put my stamps on. So that way I don't lose them. And then they also come with 
layering instructions. But if you go back, I do have a kitchen sink stamps playlist. So I kind of, you know, save every single one so I can show you the secrets to lining them up a little easier. Also on their website, you want to go to the kitchen sink stamps blog. They have different ink combinations. So whether you use Memento, Altenew, Stampin' Up, Catherine Pooler, she tries to um, put all of the different ink combinations um, that she can so you can see what they look like when they're stamped out with different ink colors so if you if you get a little creative block it's a good place to go and look um and i see stacy has the watercolor prayers with hers so tracy, these are, tracy. <laughs> i do that all night now <laughs> um and yeah the link is down below and chow just put for you guys if you're quick you'll see the discount code she put it up there for you guys but i have the link down below and Chow just put the discount for you guys on there. <laughs> Thanks, Chow. Normally, I don't correct you, Nancy, but I figured everybody's getting I us know. confused. So you got to You got to I'll start us. trying to remember. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. We're, we're all right with that. I mean, <laughs> we both know that Tracy and Stacy are both great, no matter what you call us. Yes. <laughs> Yes. And I'm right. using Nina Solar White Classic Press 80 pound that I've just cut down to card front sizes. And I think I'm going to bring in my mini Misty today. Okay. I have um, the Accent Opaque cardstock 80 pound. Pretty much the same thing. Yeah. It, yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Ah, Stacy does have this set. We should make her stamp along. Get on here, Stacy. I can't see. Come on, Stacy. Jump on. <laughs> we want to see you. <laughs> All right. So I'm actually going to stamp. There are two trees in this set. And I'm going to be using my favorite inks right now, the Catherine Pooler inks. Um, they're just so cute. <laughs> <laughs> perfect for multi-step perfect i know i do say that karen i'm like stracy <laughs> yes <laughs> all right so the tree is um there is a a taller tree and then there's a wider tree so they have the letters here lowercase a or lowercase b that's how you know which tree and I always say, if you're going to be doing the letter A, that's the one that has the trunk here. You need to start with the trunk first. So I'm going to start with number one, which is the lightest color of ink for the trunk. And for my brown inks, I'm going to bring in my new, um, my new alternate inks that I just got. Well, that's a good idea. I have all to new. I don't know if we have the same colors, but I uh, I would think still, so because I uh, sent them to you. They're still great. I know. <laughs> I know you did. I think you have two different sets though, or something. I do have I two sets. So the the mini set I'm using is uh, I forget what it's called, but it's like chocolate almond butter and hazelnut. The big set, the set you have, is called Coffee Break. So I have the same set you have, but I have it in the bigger ones. Okay. Uh, these, the ones I'm using are called delectable delights. There we go. So for the first layer of the tree trunk, I'm going to start with hazelnut. That's right. And Stacey, I'm starting the ink with, pads with okay, the built in handles. <laughs> okay. I'm starting with my, uh, lightest color, right? Yep. For number one, you start okay. with the lightest color. So that's Rocky Shores. Start with that one. Uh -huh. so we were fishing with minnows and worms today. The fish didn't want to have anything to do with worms. And there was a young man, I'm going to say he was probably um, Vietnamese. I'm going to say 
early 20s, late teens, maybe. And he was kind of fishing next to us. And every time Leah would get close to getting a fish, he'd like inch over closer and inch over closer and inch over closer. And it just got to the point where I was ready to be like, bro, move over. Okay. (laughs) And then Leah pulled the bass out and he's literally, there's a tree like this overlooking our lake. He's like hanging on the trunk of the tree to see the fish that Leah got. It oh. wasn't even that big of a fish. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right. So number two on the trunk, I'm using my second color, which is almond butter. This one. I'm using mocha. Yeah, I told Lee, I'm like, don't be afraid to say you're in my space. Move over. Yeah. <laughs> The second fish she pulled out, we thought it was the same as the first one, but the second one had another hook in his mouth. It looked like he snapped the line. So I was able to pull, Mm -hmm. he, well, he jumped the hook off of Leah's hook and then I grabbed him and I pulled the, the second um, fishing line out of him. So hopefully he'll grow to be a bigger fish someday. Okay. The third layer of the trunk um, is just the top. So you kind of want to line up this V right here and that lines up with the V here. So it's just basically the top here. So you're going to line this up right on top. It's the darkest layer and it goes right on top of the previous stamp layer. That one I'm going to do in milk chocolate. And I did it in express espresso. I don't think I moved my trunk over far enough from the edge of the. Um, eh, you'll have it hanging paper. over a little bit. I will. Then I can add the other tree beside it. Maybe they, these trees are. They take up a lot of real estate. So. Especially this one. It's pretty wide. Okay, yesterday when Tracy and I were doing her live, Bernie started talking about food and dessert and stuff, and now you guys are doing it again. Stop. Stop. Uh, oh. <laughs> and yesterday right. I was really hungry and they were talking I about know. food. I thought, oh my. Okay, so for the tops of this tree with the trunk, it is letter A. So we have one A. 2a and 3a for this tree so once you do the trunk you want i like the most solid layer next and there is a little cutout, a bubble in the stamp can you guys see that little bubble right there in the stamp that is meant to be there and that gets placed right over this part of the trunk so there's a little um i don't know why it's not focusing this spot right here it's lined up with the little, I'm trying to bring this in the camera, this little bubble. I didn't right realize here. that. Now yep, I see so it. that's, that's the secret to lining it up. So you line up that bubble and then there's another little bubble next to it right here. So those are your um, lineup points on this stamp. Once you line those two up, then you'll see how the trunk lines up. There's a little line here on the trunk and then you'll see where the top of the tree trunk there's actually cutouts for all those because those are supposed to show through the tree but those are your guides so that little bubble that little bubble and then you can see through how the trunk lines up Okay. And I did link it down below for you guys, the Kitchen Sink Stamps website, Kitchen Sink Stamps Facebook group, and also the Catherine Pooler website if you want to get any of these mini inks that I'm going to be using. I am lining up layer 1A. So this is 1A. This goes on the trunk. So we did trunk 1, 2, and 3. And now we're on 1A, which is this most solid layer. And then we are lining up that with these these are your these are your spacers here here and then you'll see this top of the tree line up <laughs> stacy says next person who talks about food will get a timeout <laughs> yeah unless okay you guys have been warned <laughs> <laughs> 
Stacy's like, stop talking about food. I know. So now when I stamp it, my yellow ink is not stamping on top of the brown. There's actually a hole cut out. Actually, my stamp is dirty. Ew, it's really the dirty. Only I put that post the only reason I put that post-it note is I don't want my little Sizzix cut. Okay, um, my bye, Stephanie. My little Sizzix sticky pad to get dirty. I wanted to keep yeah. it as clean as possible. Yep. My stamp has a little dust in it. That's okay. Layer one doesn't count ever anyway. Doesn't it look pretty just like that? What well, color did you better. use for that? Oh, I'm sorry. I use CP Tiara. Okay, I use lemon cello, so mine's a little bit lighter. All right, then we go in with 1B, because we were at 1A, 1B, and nope, wrong stamp set. <laughs> 2A, 1A, 2A. Keep it together, Nance. 1A, 2A, 1A, 2A. Okay, and 2A has the same bubble to line it up. I know this is not, the lighting is not so good on my desk today. Let's go here. Let me turn this light on a little better. Okay. So and that same bubble, this little marker here is on 2A as well. So when you line it up, you just look for that little bubble and you're going to see the same thing. So this is going to be open. This is going to be open and the top of the tree is going to be open. And honestly, you guys, I didn't even know this. I was just stamping it without, and it came out fine. So. Yeah, it's very easy. This is good. Very easy. This is good to know, though. This gives you more precise results. It's very good. The second color I'm going in with is sauna. Okay. <clears throat> and I'm like going a, to go in dark with dark mustard yellow. I'll go with. Tiki torch. It's a little different, but it's still, I mean. Hey, all trees are different. Mother right. Nature makes everything different. Yep. At first, look, layer, we're only two solid. layers in, you guys. Look at how amazing that looks. The first layer is pretty solid. The second layer has yep. some leaves, right? Yep. The second layer starts to give us the <clears throat> dimension. It shadows it. This is Tiki Torch. Okay. And the wow. last layer is 3A. Okay. And 3A is very similar in that... Again, it has the little cutouts. Now they're a little harder to find on this stamp because let me make sure I have it right before I open my mouth the wrong way. Yeah, they're not they're not as uh... with three, it's a little bit more hidden, but Still the same concept. I'm trying to remember how I did this the other day because I did have it perfect. Okay. Let me look at the picture here. Okay. So, so this Nancy, some of these ahead. limbs still show. Like I'm looking at the picture yes. on the back of the packaging. Yep. So some of the limbs do show. Yeah. Yep. So for three, I'm going to bring this up to the camera so you guys can see it. Three is a little trickier, but it does work out. I'm just trying to eyeball it and make sure it all looks good. I think I have it correct. Okay. I'm going to get my guide so, out. All right. So how this works for three is <clears throat> there is an open space right at the top of the branch here. Okay. You want that open space to follow the top of the branch. And then there is a tiny little open space that goes over our little hole right there. This one is not as much, like you don't see that one as much anymore. That was our original guide mark. You don't see that one as much, but you wanna look for the top of the branch here and that little guide hole there 
is where that little piece of brown sticks in. It's a little tougher on three, but honestly, you're, you're probably not even going to notice it if you line this one up correct or not correct. Another, another guide point you can use is inside the branch here, there's a little triangle and you can see how that fits perfectly inside that, um, the little branch there. But if you get this so you branch, guys, this line on the okay. branch and this dot lined up, then you pretty much got it. And you guys can see, I printed out my step guide. It's called the stamp alignment guide. I printed this off of Maria's blog, uh, the kitchen sink stamp blog. I find it's easier for me to have it blown up bigger size. So that's why I did it like this. And I have like a whole binder where I keep these. Just as something that helps me. All right, and then for that one, I think I did, what is the dark orange? Here we go. For the third color, I went with this dark orange, which is Mandarin Spice, like a burnt orange color. Tracy, they want to know if you can come down a little closer, if you can zoom in a little. Try. Hold on one sec. I'm grabbing my ink. I don't want to lose my lid here. <clears throat> oh my gosh, this thing is so hard to oops. Adjust. Whew. Lucy. Lefty Lucy. Okay. Is that better? Yes. Yes. Let me just keep this um, out some so I'm not reaching halfway across my desk. Okay, Elizabeth says that she has some that she does three, two, one. I'll do the next one, three, two, one. Elizabeth, yes. Yeah, it does. It looks real looks so 3d yes they look has real the shadow That's and the shading on the bottom of the tree it's very light at the top of the tree very nice that's what's so awesome about kitchen sink stamps they look real they said thank you tracy they can see better now yep it's just like a right. photo as if you would take a photo of a tree yes now I'm going to do the watercolor thanks and I'm going to start with number one, which is the most solid layer. And the other day when I was making these cards, I was just mimicking what color I did the trees. So I think I'm going to do the same thing, but I'm going to start with the lightest color, which is lemon jello. So we are making these thank you cards for you guys that have been so supportive with the trademark of Stamp Wars. We've been getting donations. If you donate to Ryan's um, PayPal, then you actually get a print that Ryan took four days to color. I think I said three days yesterday. I was corrected. It's four. He took four days to color Jade and Nevermore, and you would actually get a print a photocopy of the print from um, Ryan's PayPal donation, um, which I think is a minimum of $15 because that covers the cost of the print and shipping. Um, however, if you just wanted to just do a donation, any donation, you can donate to my PayPal, which is nancystamps15 on paypal at gmail.com. And then those donations are being used towards the cost of trademarking stamp wars and speaking of stamp wars we have stamp wars next saturday six days away already my my angles all crooked now since i had to adjust my everything's all crooked i have to oh, get I myself think it straight okay. here guys it doesn't it's look crooked, too bad though it's not sure oh <laughs> <to me>. 
I don't want to. Bernie be says she's gonna have okay. a shot of limoncello now. I don't know what limoncello is. Okay. <laughs> Must be a lemon liqueur, I guess. I guess. <laughs> Layer number two. I'm gonna go in with tiara. He said she's going to go get some brandy. You guys, first it was food, now Who's it's getting, drinking. Casey's getting brandy. Okay. So hold on. Let me take a sip of my sweet tea. <laughs> yeah, I have some ginger ale. <laughs> That'll do for me. Ginger ale. Okay. So I've got a tree that's partially on the Hi, card. Nisi. Hmm. I don't really like how that looks. What do you mean you don't like it? It's pretty. Because it's cut off half of the way. That's okay. Uh, Put some grass underneath it. I it's might fine. do the other tree on the other side. There you go. Well, I make will. it, I will. Make it I two trees. Do the other tree on the other side. Yeah, that's what I'll do. That way it balances it out a little bit more. And this is layer three. I am going in with sauna. There's a train honking as it goes down the road. Huh. I can hear it. Pretty. Okay, I have a question. So, you know, of course, mommy has to buy herself a Christmas present. I usually get like one or two things for myself. So I was looking at the Ninja 5-in-1. I guess it's like a grill and an air fryer. It says it's a grill and air fryer a dehydrator. I don't know what else it does. I'm only interested in the grill and air fryer part. I really don't care about the dehydrator. Oh, I guess it bakes too. I really don't care about that other stuff. Does anybody have that? And would you recommend it? Cause I think it's like 180 bucks right now. Do not have it. Yeah. It's like a, a grill. Um, it bakes I think it's like a convection oven kind of thing it has air fryer I have um an original like an original it's over 20 years old ninja blender and that thing's about to die any day now but that thing blends crushes ice it's really really cool and oh. it has, it's not dead yet, but it's about to die. So I know I'm going to have to replace that one. So I can just tell you the quality of Ninja. My dad used to watch the infomercials on TV and he'd buy them. Oh, okay. <laughs> so I'm going in with Tiki Torch for my last layer. I have a Ninja like smoothie. They are so powerful. Yes. Wow. Annie says she has the eight in one and it's amazing. Oh, Stacy said, talk to her. She's gone through two already. All right. Hi, Candace. I want to get one of those air fryers. I don't, we don't have one and I want to get one of those. So hello, Kiki. And when we look at this store the last time, they didn't have any, but of course we didn't look at Walmart. So right. we have to check there probably. Yeah. Right. Hi, well, Candace. Yeah, I guess like Kohl's has it on sale. I guess what I've seen is that everybody is starting their Black sh Friday shopping now. They, their sale prices, they're going to run them until uh, for a few weeks because they don't want people coming into the store still. So they rather you just buy online. Mm -hmm. So they put all the, the Black Friday pricing up now. So they're not mobbed on Black mm -hmm. Friday. Gotcha. So like I, said, I got a couple things for the kids and I was like, well, what am I going to get myself? My watch showed up, so I don't need to get a new watch. But I was like, well, I was looking at that, the air fryer thing. Oh, 
Connie says she well, got we, we like to eat French lunch. fries. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. We like we like to eat French fries and we don't fry them. We just bake them in the oven, but it'd be nice to have an air fryer that would do a Crisp better up. job of that. Yeah. yeah. So that's one tree and one thanks. And they match. And now all I have to do is basically put it on a card front. It's simple, but it's pretty. It's great. I like it. Kay says they have a pizza oven they're selling or a griddle thing. I have a griddle. I'll never use it. Stacy says, yeah, an air fryer does the same thing. It's just faster. Because usually it's just Leah and I because Xavier's so picky. And listen, by the time I get home, I don't feel like getting everything out and like cooking, cooking. So that can make it easier. And oftentimes I forget to defrost the meat. So, and the kids, you know, they're not going to think about it. So if I forget to defrost the meat, it's frozen pizza night. We have like frozen pizza yeah. three nights a week. <laughs> We have at least once a week. Yeah, right. Exactly. So, yeah. <laughs> All right. I'm going to go in and stamp with the other tree now. So the other tree has its trunk connected and that's letter B. And I want to, I go backwards with this one um, because it has the trunk connected and that's what I use as kind of my guide point. So I'm going to start with number four on this one. And I'm going to start over here. Yeah, I did that too. I'm going backwards. I'm doing that tree right now. Do that great minds red think alike. Mm -hmm. Start it with rocking red. So I'm going nice in and... with milk chocolate for mine. For your trunk? Mm -hmm. Are you doing is the this... leaves that color as well? Uh, yeah, I'm doing the trunk and the tree because this is like the shadow layer. And this color is not really brown. It's like a reddish brown. Like a burnt sienna color. Okay. Good idea. That's, that's the last I layer. Forget. So you want that to be your darkest color. I always forget that that layer is to be a brown as your base because that's like the tree branches and everything. Well, when you forget, look at your color yeah. guide here because this gives you little suggestions to colors. Okay, we'll just do it in, in order over again. Hopefully, won't make it too muddy. All right, so this is, now I'm going backwards. So this one's 3B. And all I'm going to do here, basically, line up the trunk. Because um, this is going to cover pretty much everything up. All right, now on this one, what I do is I play around with moving the stamps and trying to see where everything goes. And I can see on this particular stamp, there is a cutout right here at the top of the tree. So if you line up that little cutout with what's stamped there, there's an open space. I'll try to show it to you guys. I don't know how I can show that. Right here, or if my camera, okay, I'll try to focus on that if I can. But there is an open space right here on the, the tree, it's towards the top. And if you line that up with this big brown spot right here, that is your marker. Um, let me come in a little closer too. Hopefully that helps out a little bit. Focus, focus. Okay, so right here this open spot that's your marker for this tree there is an open spot and if you line that open spot up we should be okay okay 
Okay, so I think I'm going to go in with how many layers are there? Four, three, two, one. Okay, this is a pretty hardy looking tree. So I think I'll do a darker green here. Actually, mm, double guessing myself. Yeah, I'm gonna go in with greens on this one and then I'll change it up after a while. Okay, so for the third layer here, I'm gonna go in with, this is 3B eucalyptus. I did rocking red and then I did orange twist so far. First I did the mocha. I mean, first I did espresso, which was all to new. Then I did Hi, Carolyn. rocking red. Then I did orange twist. Now I have to figure out my last color. Okay, now I need 2B and 2B, we're gonna line up the trunk. And what you're lining up on the trunk is right here, this little line right here, it is open on two. So there's a space right there. That's what we wanna line up. So go right up to that line. I just look around the outer perimeter and make sure everything looks like it's in the right place. For that one, I'm going to do green tea. So mine looks like a Japanese maple because it looks a little pinky. That's very pretty. I don't know why because I, I didn't use any pink, but that's okay. Yeah, thank you. Okay, so now we have two trees. So I didn't think about it whenever I was starting my tree, uh, my layout here. And I have the other tree stamp, which is birch trees, and they have a little bit of grass. So I was going to use a little bit of that at the bottom. That's a good idea. Yeah. All right. And then 1B is our most solid layer. So this one, again, you just line up this part of the trunk, and you can see right through the stamp where that's supposed to go. And then you just look around the outer perimeter. And just make sure that everything looks okay. And I'm going to do green grass. So, this is the birch trees and I'm going to take the grass from the birch trees. It's two different colors of grass. A little more on the top here. Trees are great because you can do trees in the summer, in the fall, mm -hmm. in the winter. You can do them for, you know, happy birthday, sympathy, especially masculine cards. It's very easy to do trees. Mm -hmm. That's what I was thinking too. Yep. Oh, look, my thanks barely fits on it.
I mean, I could stamp it and then die cut it, but I'm doing one layer here. So it's just going to get moved over this way a little bit. The tree off, Nance. Oops. Remember that one time I tried to heat emboss and I never stamped the stamp? <laughs> huh. Well, the other day I was making a card and I spilled embossing powder everywhere again. Oh, no. the first time I've done it. It's such a mess. I was finding embossing powder like the next day, even though I thought I had cleaned it all up. What happened was I had lay laid it out and then I took my heat gun and I Oh, I blew it everywhere. I didn't just spill it. I blew it everywhere with my heat gun. That was a mess. Oh, what a mess. <laughs> happens. Happens to all of us. No snow. Massachusetts had an earthquake today. Oh, my gosh. How about what? Alex Trebek died today? Oh, I heard that. That's sad. He was fighting cancer. Didn't he have pancreatic cancer? Yes. The tough one. The tough one. Jen says, I need to burst out this set and stamp along. Yes, Jen. Yes, if you guys everybody missed get it. The live I did yesterday with Tracy, we did hot filing. That was Tracy, fun. She did amazing. Thanks. You did a great job teaching me <laughs> stacy said great tracy's moved on from losing stuff to spilling her embossing powder <laughs> of course she i have says, to graduate uh, i got ink on my magnet and then dropped it and smeared it on my pretty picture oh no yeah you gotta let that dry and then sandy racer over it or stamp over it alex trebek from jeopardy died so the pastor that is our youth group pastor, he was on Jeopardy. Really? So we were talking. He was. He's really smart. He's a Rhodes Scholar. So he went to England for a year. And anyways. Wow. Uh, yeah. He's the pastor of the our sister church in town. Uh, but anyways, he was talking about Alice Trebek and how he was super nice. And that there were a bunch of kids in the audience that were like sixth graders and how Alex Trebek was so nice to them and talk to them you know some people will say that Alice Trebek's not nice some of the contestants right but he found them to be very nice yeah right yeah I don't think he has the same reputation that Ellen has right now <laughs> <laughs> right Ellen and I have the same birthday my goodness I used It's a Boy. Now I'm going in with Fiesta Blue for my second color blue. So I just put some little tufts of grass at the bottom of my trees, which that I love made it that. much. Thanks. Think it definitely helped to ground scene. it. Get your cloud stencil out. Okay. <laughs> oh, she's going all in, you guys. <laughs> No, I was just kidding. I'm not getting the cloud stencil out because <laughs> I want to stick to kitchen sink stamps tonight. Oh, you don't have the kitchen sink stamps cloud stencil. Um, wait a minute. Do I? Wait. I have to get you one. Oh. I thought you bought one because you have. said that I you need I to did. have like every single cloud stencil and you have like four of them. I thought you had it. But I can't find it. <laughs> I can believe that. That's par for the yeah, course. Yeah, Ellen's in me. the hot seat for being mean to her employees and rude to her guests. Yeah, she's not doing so well. Yeah, I heard that. All right, here I am trying to get my thanks done on my first card nancy's already on her second card almost done with her second card sherry just sent me a picture of her tree and it looks amazing great job sherry another person has their tree up yay 
No, of her tree stamp. She's stamping right. along with us. She's stamping with us. Oh, I thought she meant a Christmas tree. Okay. Nope. Well, great. I'm glad that she's stamping along with us. That's awesome. Thanks for doing that. Okay. So this is nice because I have a red tree and a yellow tree or orange tree, and I can pick my inks to go with both. So that's cool. I think I'll start with lemon cello with the bottom layer or the lightest layer. Most solid layer. Oh, you're talking about Nikki tutorials? I love Nikki tutorials. Yes. Stacy says she has a Charlie Brown tree she puts up. You know, I might do that this year. Not even joking. <laughs> Oh my not oh my Roxanne are you okay Roxanne says tell everyone I've been in the hospital for over one week I don't know oh my goodness Roxanne star says she's shopping again on H and H let me just say this I know that H and H sells out very quickly you guys have nobody to blame but yourselves <laughs> because I have seen some of the hauls you guys don't buy one or two rolls of foil you guys buy like. 10 rolls of foil at once. Um, so, you know, I do think she's looking to restock in the next week or so. I did ask her to bring in some other foils for us. So um, I'll let you know when I hear. Some new colors. That's good. This is the last one, which is Daydream. Jen says, I've had the stamp to forever this just and never a bit used closer. it. Oh, yeah, we can't see you now. You got to move up. Oh, come oh, on. You, oh, you're doing it to line it up? I see what you're saying. I know. Yeah, as soon as I'm done lining it up, I'll bring it back. Um, is, she, is she stamping along too? Yeah, Jen is. She said that she's had it forever. Good. Good, good, good. Okay, so we'll do lemon cello and then tiki torch. Yes. Oh, I do want to say to my new my new friends um, that are still continuing to send nasty message and harass Chow that um, I think I have more friends than you do. So I would recommend that you stop or otherwise all of my friends are going to have to get involved so i've tried to be nice i've asked nicely for that person to stop and um now they're making up fake youtube accounts you know what i don't care you can bring your two thumbs up to two thumbs down to my channel but if you don't stop harassing chow it's going to be like 10 times that on your channel so please stop i'm asking nicely And I know you're watching my channel well, kind of, because you keep giving me thumbs down. So the whole two thumbs down that I get from you and your other friend. So <laughs> I'm not going to be nice and say, what kind of low life would harass a child? That's terrible. Right. It's terrible. Somebody who has nothing on, better she's to the do nicest with her person. life. Somebody right. who has nothing better to do with her life. Yes. Child's the Gary nicest. Got her new skin most... in front. He's not doing tests. Let me just tell you how nice Chow is. I've got to tell them the story about me in the post office. So I had to, and I was a little bit behind getting out my winner from Saturday's um, Stamp Wars winners. I, I needed to get in the mail Jean Marin's prize because she was my winner. And so it was a Friday afternoon. It was almost closing time at the post office. It was about an hour before closing time. I go in, there's only two people ahead of me. I go up to the counter. I go to check out. And the kind, and he was very kind, postal worker said, this address isn't coming up right. When I put it in the system, the address for Jean is not coming up right. And I said, well, maybe, um, maybe I have the zip code wrong. He said, no, what I'm saying is there's no house address at that street with that, those numbers. And he said, um, this is, you know, you're going to have, I said, I said, if you can hold on one second. So I called Chow and she like dropped everything. And was able to give an answer. I mean, you talk about fast. I mean, we had the whole problem resolved in a minute. And there was a line behind me of 20 people. I would have had mm -hmm. to have gone 
back in that line. And they probably mm-hmm. would have closed and said, we're not going to serve you today because it's closing time. So that's the kind yeah. of person that Chow is. I mean, yep. she jumps yep. and helps her friends and she yep. would help anybody. Yep. Um, and so she didn't have to do that. She could have said to me, oh, I'm busy right now. You know, call me back in a, in a half hour. Or so she just dropped everything to help me. I she really does that, everything. So. so you guys don't know how much behind the scenes is involved to keep the FSC going, to keep the, you know, posts going on all. I mean, Chow's the admin for all four or five of us, uh, um, all of our channels. So she always drops what she's doing, logs on when we're going live, even when when we don't tell her to go live, she actually gets mad when we don't tell her. Like today I tried to sneak on a Facebook live and Chow was like, Nancy's on live. She's on top of it. (laughs) And she posts all the links for us. She has all of the links for every company we use, um, discount codes. If she can find a discount code, she'll link that for you guys. If there is a comment that needs help, she'll say, hey, you guys, I don't know the answer for this comment. Can you guys help? Or if she can find a video that we've done, she'll link a video for you. If there are people who are like trolling us, she takes them out. She takes their comments down. If there's any kind of negative comments, you guys don't even know this is happening. She just does all this. And I'm going to say this person is so bitter that Chow is with us and is one of our friends that, you know, we had asked Chow to change her email. Now they're commenting posts on Chow's videos and it's one person. We know who it is. It's not, um, I don't believe it's the owner of the YouTube channel. I believe it's that person's admin Mm -hmm. uh, because the owner of the channel, um, honestly hasn't said anything to us, hasn't, you know, just basically did what we asked her to do. So I do appreciate that. And I have said, I appreciate that, but her admin is very bitter. Her admin is very nasty. We have saved all of the emails, all of the messages she has sent to Chow. And it is getting to the point where it is legally harassing Chow now. And now they're making um, fake uh, YouTube comments on there and we're saving all of it. We're saving all of it. Yep. And I'm going to have one of my techie friends track the IP address and prove that it's the same person. So, you know, this person's going to get caught red handed and, you know, it's just dumb. It's really childish. It's dumb. You're grown. Move on with your life. Chow has her life. We don't go over to your channel and harass you. Oh, that's right. You don't have a channel. You're riding on the coattails of your friend who has the channel. So, you know, just knock it off. You're really starting to piss me off now. (laughs) I will do a GoFundMe yeah, and, and do everything to find who you are, track your IP, and get it as electronic harassment. Exactly. Elizabeth. Yeah, this person like I is said, crazy. I don't like- think it's the woman that has the channel. I would hope it's not her. It's no. her admin doing all the dirty work. Yeah, so, you know, the nasty comments to Chow. The nasty emails, the nasty text messages, like grow up, get a damn life. Yeah. And I will have Chow's back forever and ever and ever. And everybody else who's in our group, Stacy, Tracy, Ryan, the rest of you guys, you know, that you guys are trying to get channels, Elizabeth, Noel, Millie, Casey, you guys, all of you guys, you guys are part of the FSC and this is for kindness. You know, the, the bully just got booted out of, uh, you know, government here. So let's not have that in our real life. Okay, people. It's all about character. Amen. And, and you have people looking at you are in a public forum where people are looking at you. Do you want your subscribers to see that? I try to always carry myself as my children are watching me. My subscribers are watching me. And yeah, we're not always going to agree on everything. And it's okay to disagree. I would not want everybody to always agree with me. That would be a very boring world, you know, but um, just being mean just for the sake of being mean, shove it. If you don't have anything nice to say, what Ryan say that Tim says, think of something. And if all you want to do is harass people on their YouTube channels, well, I don't see your YouTube channel up there. I don't see you doing anything with your life. So get over it. That's right. That's right. (laughs) Yep. Listen, if you got a disagreement with somebody, be an adult. 
talk about it, hash it out. And if you're not adult enough to talk about it or hash it out, go away, go away, go away. No, Crystal, they're using fake names now, but we do have all the emails. We're saving everything. All right, I'm doing a brown, I mean a purple thanks, because I know you like purple, Tracy. Yay. It'll I'm go to one lucky sweet subscriber 16. that likes purple. Yes. All right. So I've got my first card done, Nancy, finally. Ooh, I love it. I love how you, you added the grass at the bottom. That really does make it look like it stands out. It looks like one tree is in front of the other tree. You need some fallen apples on the ground. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> you need you the horse. That's what you need, the horse. <laughs> okay, That's a more well, elaborate card. Than cut. So yes, Jerry. I would say um, de definitely do a test cut. Stacy's right. <laughs> do a test cut because what you don't want is to waste a whole sheet of paper or vinyl and find out you didn't cut through correctly. <laughs> well, thanks, everyone. June says, can we invade Arizona for the Create and Hobby Show? How do you mean the Create? Is that Create and Hobby Show? I don't know if they're doing it. Are they doing it? Maybe. Tracy, I thought about you today. I got an email that oh, yeah? said my, I got an email that said my um, Brutus Bucks were about to expire. Oh boy. And I know you have that gift card. You need to spend. use them up. Yeah. I so do we'll, have a gift card and I have it, some Brutus books too that I need to use up. Yes. So, you know, it might be difficult for us to actually find something to buy, but I'm sure we can think of something. Maybe we can get some alcohol links. Oh, I definitely want to get Ranger stuff with mine for sure. I need um, alcohol inks. Definitely. I don't have that many. Um, I don't think I have that many. So honestly, I don't need anything at this point that I could justify spending. So I'll probably just let them expire. I have, um, I have some actual gift in-store gift certificates, not just the ones that my staff got me, but that I earned from purchases and stuff. So I, I need to just take care of that all, just get it all done with. Yeah. Yep. So I'm going to go with pinks and purples too this time. And would it be, <laughs> just can't go would it be wrong? wrong? Would it be wrong to make a purple tree? I mean, just ask it. Creativation is going to be a virtual event. Ooh. Let me see here. Maria, I want to go to Creativation virtually. Please, Maria. I know you're watching, Maria. <laughs> Everybody go buy some more kitchen sink stamps. <laughs> Yes, buy the tree, multi-layer tree, and buy the birch tree. Don't forget about, oh my gosh, where's my butterfly background? I should cut this out and then put it on the, on the foiled butterflies. Like you mean I the thanks sentiment? On, yes, if I put that on here, oh, that would look beautiful. Now I'm going to have to go print and foil some butterflies. <laughs> all right uh crystal says purple tree it is she said it's not wrong in her mind to make a purple tree so it could be a fairy tree i made purple mountains for bernie That's because right. she wanted fairy mountains so i made them purple okay hey i can't keep my mouth shut though I'll be saying stuff I shouldn't be saying. 
<laughs> Nancy has a problem. She speaks her mind. <laughs> oh, I have the icy pond. The icy pond is a it's a little mini set, but it's super cute. It is cute. Okay. So and then there's another the release at the end of November. It's on its way to me. Oh, wow. Another I got, one. My goodness. I got um, two new releases in my hand. You guys saw the sneak peek of one. If you were in my gingerbread class, five of you won it. I think five of you won it. Yeah. Yes, five I know which one that is. Yeah. That. And I have a new one in my hands. And let me just say, if you have a thing for bears and woods, like if you have a hunter in your life or like I'm thinking mm -hmm. Kim in Alaska, if you have a thing for realistic woods and a realistic tree, and I think, I think the one, and these are all, I think coming out, like I said, the end of this month, I think there's a moose coming. And I know how much you guys love the moose because you guys love the Blue Knight Rubber Stamps moose. So I'm oh. hoping... You know, this Ooh. is going to be a realistic looking moose. Wow. And a bear. That sounds great. Yes. And woods. Yes. <gasps> Noelle's right. Noelle said a lilac tree. Or what's that tree in Australia that I did the, the, oh, the, yeah. the Jahandar trees, whatever they're called. Jahandar tree. Is that what it's called? <laughs> It's called something. Where's our Australians at? <gasps> Cherry Blossom K says, okay, K, I'm going with that. Yes, yes. You are right, girlfriend. All right, we got to start with the trunk. We're going to do Cherry Blossom or attempt to do Cherry Blossom. I'm taking K's idea and running with it. Well, that turned out really nice. This multicolor thing because it's got pink and purple in it. You see that? Yes. Oh, I used the pinks and then I used the purples. So Ryan, are you still in like... <laughs> Bernie, I sent everybody that signed up for the class um, the link. So for those of you who missed the gingerbread class that um, signed up and paid for it, um, I do have it recorded and uh, sent you the emailed you guys the link. And because it's recorded, you can fast forward through it all the way. Yeah. I thought we had a lot of fun. A lot of fun, fun. It was fun, yes. Oops, I'm out of frame. Done, Amps. I'll put my head in it. Pulling a Tracy here. Yeah. <laughs> So I think what I would like to do, my next big adventure is uh, I want to take the kids on a tropical vacation. Leah and I were watching, oh, we were watching a Hallmark movie yesterday and it was called Operation Christmas Drop. If you get a chance, I think it's on Netflix. So it's a Netflix Hallmark movie, not a Hallmark Hallmark, but you know, it's one of those Christmas love stories anyway. So Lee and I were watching it yesterday and it's based out of Guam, I think. And they showed like these beautiful, you know, tropical waters. And I have never, I mean, I've taken my kids to Disney once when Leah was three. Um, but I haven't been able to really afford to take my kids like, you know, like on a nice vacation. And I would like to, to take them because they're at that age now where they both kind of still get along. But Xavier's pushing the whole you know, moody teenager button soon. And Leah's going to be her own moody teenager, I'm sure. So I want to kind of do it now. Um, so I'm going to look into, hopefully not next year, maybe the following year, either some kind of a cruise with them or some kind of a, a tropical vacation, like maybe Puerto Rico or something like that, where we can go the three of us and have a nice, nice time where they can just swim and have a good time. Well, that sounds like a lot of fun. I hope you guys I'm get hoping, to go. I'm hoping. Never know. Um, okay, so I'm going to attempt to do cherry blossom here. So I guess I'm going to 
do light pinks and work my way up, right? Yeah, start with your light color. Mm -hmm. So I I, hi, I'm doing it. Go ahead. Hi. <laughs> Oh, there's 100 Hi, people. Leah. There's 100, there's 100 people. people? I didn't even realize that. <laughs> Aw. Hi, everybody. What time is it? Hello. Oh, it's time for you to go lay down. I'll be up soon. Go on. Come on, you have school tomorrow. Bye. Say goodbye. Okay, Bye, say Leah. goodbye. Bye. Okay, how many layers do I have to my tree? Three, right? Or is it four? One, two, three. I think the, three. Little, the short tree three. has three. The tall okay. tree has four. Okay. So I think I have my pinks here. Miss Leah, did you just sit down at your computer after I just said go to bed? She's being nosy. So Nancy, I have um, my first layer is Icing on the Cake by Catherine Puller. And my second layer I'm going in with Royal Treatment by Catherine Puller. So Ooh, let's see how that turns super out. super dark purple. Yeah, wait, that's not right. That's dark, dark, dark. Well, yeah, because that's the... Yes, because you're going backwards. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> okay. You're right. My first okay. layer for my cherry tree is It's a Girl. I'm so excited I get to make a purple tree. Oh, wow. I'm making a pink tree. That's it great. Looks like, so around here, there's an orchard by me. And when it's blooming, all of the trees are pink. It looks like cotton candy on the trees. Aw, that's great. I wonder if it's that um, Japanese cherry blossom tree. It's like an apple orchard. Like they have apples and, oh, and okay. it's like an pears. Apple orchard. And, okay. yeah, yeah, apples and pears. I don't know what else they have there. Obviously, that didn't happen this year. We didn't do anything this year. No pumpkin picking, no nothing. My kids' photo shoot got um, postponed. So we'll probably end up doing like winter pictures with my photographer. They say, hi, Leah. We saw you fishing. You guys had a beautiful day for fishing. It was gorgeous. It was so out. warm today. It was I would have laughed here if that today. guy would have fell in the lake, though. That would have been hilarious. But then I would have had to pull him out because it's so deep there because it's a quarry. If he would have fell in. He would have been like a goner. It did feel like summertime today. It really did. It's really nice. I was going to wash the cars and all that stuff. And I was like, eh, it's probably going to rain two days. <laughs> Leah? I guess she did go upstairs. Now I don't see her unless she's hiding. Okay, my second color is Be Mine. Be Mine, Be My Baby. All right, I'm going to do Grape Crush as my third color. Kim says, Which I don't she... know if Royal. Sorry, go ahead. Oh, Jerry says she's trying to do abstract stuff like Ryan does, and it's not looking so great. Jerry, it has to look like a murder scene, and then you convert yeah. it over to something beautiful. And don't forget to edge the ink the edges with brown ink. Signature Ryan style. <laughs> oh, look how purple my tree is. I love it. Wow. Your tree and my tree need to be in the same orchard. That's right. <laughs> oh, that's cool. I need to put like little leaves falling down, purple leaves. That would look so pretty. This is my last layer now. Coming up in a minute here. Me too. Just trying to figure out how to do this. Okay, so wait a minute. Did I just do my last layer? Now I got myself confused. I only used three, three layers. 
You have four on. Oh, that, that one, one only has three. Wait a second. That, that one has. This one has no, four. So I has did the brown. Three. Yours has four. I did brown, and I did royal treatment, and I did grape crush. So the final would be flirty fuchsia. Yeah. Because you're going backwards. <gasps> look at my tree. Ooh, look at that. Yeah. It. I love it. Ryan has inspired so all pretty. of us to step out of our comfort zone. I think we've all, we've oh, stretched Ryan so... and Ryan has stretched us to want to be better at crafting for sure. Mm -hmm. For sure. I agree. I think on my last layer, I'm going to throw a little bit of pink in there just to give it a little bit of a contrast. I think I like just your idea of grass and I'm going to bring grass into mine because I just did some green blending ink blending and it doesn't, it doesn't look as good as your grass. So I'm going to bring some grass in. Here. Okay. Pretty realistic tree there, Nancy. Wow. That pink. I'll hold this up so you guys can get a better look at it before I put my grass in. Purple and pink. My gosh, Kim. <laughs> wow, that's pretty, Tracy. Thanks. Okay. Just going to use my stamp. Thanks, block. Candace. And for my grass, I just did um, grass green and lime ricky. Grass skirt. Grass and lime skirt. Ricky? Yes. Okay. I'm to make up my own ink colors. I'm going <laughs> to use green tea and eucalyptus for mine. That'll look nice. Hi, Rhonda. Hey, Chow, can you help Rhonda out with the link and the code, please? But back to Roxanne. Roxanne, I hope you're feeling better. You said you fell and everything, so. Yeah. It's awful. Never fun when somebody goes through that. Okay, so that's layer one. I do think the grass makes a difference. Thank you for that. Sure. Thank you, Chow. Thanks, Rhonda. I don't know if this grass really lines up or if it's just pretty different. abstract. It's so, yeah, it's sort of. That's what I think, like, yeah. I'm like, I don't think this lines up. I think it just goes there. Because you think about grass, just kind of grows wherever it wants, and yep. doesn't really.
No, Ryan, we're not doing that. <laughs> Ryan said he wants a speckled egg tree. <laughs> well, then you make it, Ryan. <laughs> Yeah, I saw your speckled egg card today. I didn't get a chance to comment, but I didn't get a chance to watch it yet. But it looks really nice. That's his magic potion. Ryan just has a no um, mistake formula, and it just works out amazing for him with his cards. And if you follow Ryan's formula, you too will make beautiful cards. keep all my stamps together here. <laughs> Hi, Letty. Oh, you're not too late. It's okay. Betty's probably wondering, why is there a purple tree and a pink tree? <laughs> I, gotta, I gotta make my card, my card bases. Yeah, beat me. So for my card bases, I've been using the Accent Opaque White. I like that grass. That's pretty cool grass. like it. Make sure you guys go check out Tracy's channel on the live we did yesterday with all the hot boiling. We had a really good time with that. That was fun. Yeah. All right. Let's get some card bases here. I also made a couple earlier that um, I'll show you all the cards that I made. I did the SVG cut files and created these cards where for my background, I just used an embossed background. So it's, it's made with an embossing folder and I just used the embossing folder. I had some, like I just had them laying around and I thought, what am I gonna do with those? And so what I did was I put the, um, I put a mat down, like a brown, put it on a black card base, and then um, the embossed background, um, and then tree and the thanks, and a little strip of gold foil, or rose gold foil down at the bottom for my grounding. So, so my tree pretty. Would be grounded. Thank you. So that's the short tree, and that's the tall tree. Now that gives you an idea if you're not wanting to do a one layer of how you can use, it's just different. I mean, you could do clouds too. Yeah. Yep. I do have yep. the kitchen sinks cloud stencil. I was actually just thinking I might bring that in. So the kitchen sink stamps cloud stencil, you can print, or sorry, you can download off of their website and then um, cut it out. And I have mine on some double-sided stencil material here. So here it is. Okay, and I am gonna bring that in with a blending brush and just be very light-handed with it. <clears throat> just for Ryan, I will do speckled egg. Ooh. <laughs> what's, what's the question? Did we miss us something? Okay, so oh, if you have a sorry. scan and cut, can you cut out an inked image? Yes. So the whole point of it, so Jerry, with the scan and cut, you get the best of both worlds. With the scan and cut, if you have an image like this and you scan it into your scan and cut, the scan and cut will try to trace around it and cut it out. But 
if you don't have, if you have an SVG, the SVG will cut out um, basically like a die cut. And then you go in and stamp on top of that after you've cut it out. So the scan and cut is the best of both worlds for you. Oh my goodness, all too, all too dark. I'm going to use some colored card bases on mine. I'm going to use red and purple. Just something different because just had some handy. Yes. Kim says, you're enabling Ryan. He can't always get his own way. Well, I mean, Ryan has been a big influence for me. I, I feel responsible for making sure that I give Ryan credit where credit's due. And he really has helped me with seeing things his way, just as I hope I have helped him see some things my way. And just to remind you guys, Ryan does a live every week. He's moved his live. It's um, coloring with me. And I think he's downloaded a beautiful like autumn page to do. And that's Monday nights at seven, I believe. Is that right, Ryan? Monday nights at yeah. seven on Ryan's channel. It was on Tuesdays, but Ryan has to work at the bakery now. Um, he changed his day off. So Monday nights at seven on Ryan's channel, Glitter Grunge Greetings. If you guys are not members or subscribers of the other channels, they're linked down below in the description for you. We all kind of have our own little um, way of doing things. So we have Chow's channel. We have Stacy's channel, Ryan's channel, and of course, Tracy's channel. So go check them out as well. I know some of you guys like to have lives. We can't always do lives. So you can always catch up on some videos there too. So they are all linked down below for you guys. And if you're a Scan and Cut user, you must watch yes. Stacy's, Stacy's videos today, which yes. blew my mind, which I didn't even not know did not know what she taught us today so thank you so much Stacy that was brilliant yeah so Ryan does a lot of glitter grunge so he does a lot with Tim Holtz he does a lot with very um detailed cards um so just so you guys know Ryan probably films an on average I'm gonna say an hour and a half to two hours and then shortens it down to a 15 20 minute video for you guys Stacy is very, very good with the scan and cut. That's her niche. That's what she does. Um, Tracy and I are very similar. We like to kind of make things um, based on our mood. So if we're in a quick mood, you'll see a quick video out of us. If we're in a creative mood, you'll see us bring in and incorporate a lot of different things. Um, obviously, I do the most with foiling, whether it be regular toner foiling or mink foiling. And Chow is just starting to dabble, but I would say Chow is very beginner friendly with making your cards look like you spent a lot of time on them, but she shows a lot of easy techniques and just breaks it down. So even though it looks complicated, it's really not that complicated. So we each have our own little specialty and you want to check out all of our channels and, and see what you like. And, and I'll always, if you have any suggestions, suggest uh, at the Foiling Snobs Club, you can also email us at foilingsnobsclub at gmail.com. Um, we, that's our community email that we all take a look at. And then we put all of the ideas that you guys give us and um, they come to life. So I will say that you guys did a lot of voting on my video last time for Stamp Wars on who you guys wanted to see. And I am going to tell you, you do not want to miss Saturday because it is one of the most popular <laughs> Um, votes that you guys put in for who you would like to see on Stamp War. So, oh, so one of the highly requested. Huh? Yes, very, very highly requested that this individual sponsor Stamp Wars. So, we did reach out and we got a very favorable answer. So, this Saturday, you guys are going to want to watch 7 p.m. Eastern right here, not to be disappointed. In case you're not familiar with stamp wars, we don't know ahead of time what the stamp set is going to be. We don't know who the designer is. We don't know any of that. And it's like nail biting for us because we're anxious, we're scared. <laughs> and we get upset stomach before we go live. 
we do we really do like usually i don't even eat that day because i don't want to have an upset stomach so i just wait until i'm done and then i will have my dinner so yeah it's that tense it's that intense And we shouldn't be nervous, but we are nervous because we don't know what the sabotages yeah. are going to be. We don't know. Um, <laughs> it's just I laugh because I don't normally get too nervous. Like I'm, I you know, I'm pretty outgoing kind of person, but I do get very nervous on Saturdays. Like we look at the clock and I'm like, okay, it's an hour away. It's two hours away. Three hours or whatever it is. <sighs> yep. And I get nervous because I haven't won any yet. So I definitely. Yeah. Tracy want... and I are due, you guys. Come on. And yeah. We definitely want to win. Like before you guys the end of the year. You blind voted Ryan into the top. Come on. <laughs> yeah. Although I will I was... say it, it was nice to see Chow win her first one. Yeah. She won her first one. I was very happy for her. I came in second on the blind one. So I was thrilled. But now I now I want to come in first. I'm like out for blood. Watch out. I'll get I'll get the speckled egg out. I will. <laughs> Don't put it past me. <laughs> Don't put it past me one bit. I've been studying Ryan. I think we're all gonna techniques. embody Ryan. You know, you guys you should bet. You tell better yourself believe you're it. not gonna vote for Ryan this time. Because <laughs> I am um, trying to body all let's of those just say Ryan if it were things. we wouldn't even tell ryan just so he would freaking pass out once he sees who it is of course <laughs> we would do anything we can to psych him out <laughs> <laughs> that would be very strategic on our part wouldn't it mm-hmm. be like hey mr tim holtz want to join stamp wars with us and ryan would be like ah I mean, he got all choked up over Catherine Pooler and Mary Polanco was on his page. Ryan yeah. would like pee himself. He'd be like, excuse me, guys. Uh, I got a wet floor. <laughs> 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 oh, don't, don't get it wrong. Tracy, Stacy, and I are all very competitive and you know, and don't, don't let it fool you. You know, Ryan comes on and he's all really like nice. And then he gets nervous and then he kind of like, you know, he's down on himself a little bit. You guys have seen it. And then he pulls it out in the end and he just like walks away like a champ. And we're like, where'd that come from? How did he yeah. do that? <laughs> yep. We're like, oh, Ryan's giving up. He's throwing in the towel. And then next thing you know, Ryan's like done. We're like, what? what the? And it looks good. He didn't even get half the stuff he wanted on there. And it still looks amazing. Yes. That is called natural talent, folks. And we have to compete with that. <laughs> yeah. Why do we do this to ourselves? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. I got way too much ink on the top there. I'm going to try to erase some of that or smudge it a little bit. And eraser to the rescue. Actually, I can just cut this panel down a little. <laughs> Ryan says, it's a lot of fun. We all have different ways of being nervous. Tracy's nervous starts a week before. True story. <laughs> Stacy and I are yep. cool until about five minutes before. Yes, it's true. It's true. Yep. Ryan said he can't wait to moderate one of these times. Uh, I'm going to cut this down to five and a quarter by four so I can cut off my little boo-boo at the top there. My little finger boo-boo. It's gone. <laughs> that was great. So I, I generally try to stamp out my panels at five and a half by four and a quarter. So that way, if I have any kind of like inking mistakes or anything, I can just do what I did there and cut them off. Let me look at this one. 
This one also should be cut down. Um, somebody asked me in my video the other day why I'm not using my Stampin' Up! trimmer and I'm still using this broken trimmer because I don't, first of all, this just fits conveniently under my desk. It has, there's a little cubby here, it just sits in. So it is convenient. Second of all, I do like the guillotine trimmer. And even though it's not straight, it's not crooked enough to bother me. Um, but third, when I use the Stampin' Up! Trimmer, trimmer, it presses down the paper when it cuts and it drives me crazy. So um, I do like the way that it cuts. I just wish it didn't do that thing where it presses down on it. If that makes sense. It leaves a little ridge. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. And I didn't, but, I but really it never is here. understood that, you know, yeah, but I do I'll, use it. I never noticed that because I always had the slide trimmer. Yeah. Then when I got the guillotine trimmer, I'm like, oh my gosh, this is so nice. Thank you. <laughs> this is awesome. <laughs> Um, Arlene, you want the kitchen sink stamps discount code? Is that what you're looking for? Yeah, my link is down below. This is such a versatile stamp set. This trees, um, you could just get so much mileage out of this. So many different occasions, a masculine, a sympathy, praying for you. Thank you. Um, this, this sentiment. Now, if you like the thanks, there's also the prayers, yes. which is really very comparable because it's that, um, ombre look of, a um, yep. uh, scripty watercolor. Really, yep. really. Yeah. I like it a lot. The, the stencil I use is the Kitchen Sink Stamps Cloud SVG. So I think it's only 99 cents. I think it's 99 cents or $1.99, but you download the SVG and you cut it out of whatever material you want. And I use some adhesive back stencil material, but you could use heavy Yupo. You can also use, um, there's some stencil material in my Amazon shop um, that comes in 12 by 12 sheets. Um, that Chow told, uh, told me about, and I've got that, and I've made stencils out of that. So you cut your own cloud stencil. And if you don't have that material, get it anyways, and just use heavy duty cardstock. Start with something, right? Yeah. Yeah. Then you can order the stencil material. Start with what you have. Yeah. Yep. I'll, yep. Always suggest that. Anything that's like 120 cardstock will work. You can right. make a stencil out of that. Now you won't be able to use it over and over and over and over and over again because eventually the paper is going to wear down, but still you'll get some good use out of it. Yep. Um, I don't have eye zinc. I don't have those. Um, Chow has those. Connie's going for what number do you heat the mink on when you first turn it on? If you're doing your own, Connie, number three, mini mink or mama mink? Connie. Mini mink, I would say three. Mama mink, I normally have to go to four because there's more surface area. <gasps> Look how pretty. Mm -hmm. that's awesome three more cards to you guys that have done super chats or donations to our paypal towards the trademark wars it means so much to me that you guys are contributing and i just i'm in shock that i have such amazing people I'm just going to stamp out the sentiment prayers real quick. I want to send this to Roxanne. Aw, mini mink Connie, number three. Oh my. So, do you have a big week, Nancy? Ahead of you? Um, I do. I have 
Um, yes. So tomorrow I'll be out all day, like an hour and a half. Tuesday, it's a local store, but I have a couple of Zoom meetings. So even though I won't be out, out, well, I'll be out, but I'll be at my local store. I will have, I'll be on the computer all day. And mm -hmm. then, um, I don't even know what the rest of my week looks like. <laughs> Thank you, Vals. Uh, Jerry says, so you added light green under the trees, not the grass just over it all. So yeah, I took the light green and I took these. So these blending brushes, you guys, um, you can get like five of them. I think they're $10, the colored ones here. They have like a bright color set and then they have like a neutral color set. So I got the five for ten dollars um on my amazon shop so i bought one of each i bought one of the brights and then i bought one of the like the neutrals so um these go on nicely for light co light coverage you just kind of start off the mat and bring it in so i did some light green and then on the bottom and then i stamped the uh grass over top of that and it's the same thing I used for the blue for the cloud stencil so I don't know how much it's going to show on the camera there there you go you can see a little better there so it just kind of finishes it off a little bit with the clouds and the the grass that looks nice yeah I like that all right Two more and I like and doing done. one layer cards thanks Vals um I just I I you know I like to make them pretty quickly and I apologize because I did fall behind on the super chats and the thank yous and so my team is helping out and I appreciate that so you guys are going to get cards from either me Stacy Chow Tracy or Ryan and if you're like what is this card where, where did this come from and so thank you guys for being so awesome and supporting us with the FSC and Stamp Wars and all of our channels and we really appreciate that yep I sent some out the other day so some of the folks We'll get some. And I know others have been sending them out too. Mm -hmm. One more layer. Um, Ryan's asking, how's your dad doing, Tracy? Much better. He went to church today for the first time since his surgery. So it was good. Thanks for asking. That's awesome. Yep. He visited with his sister yesterday. My Aunt Linda came up and visited. My mom's sister came up and visited yesterday, so it was good. It was really good. Yes, Connie, the mink does does smoke the first time a little bit. Yep, don't be afraid if it does that. Well, wow, Connie's sometimes really like smell hot. She's really doing her first time minking here. Way to go, Connie. Oh, girl, you got it. Hey, this is my last layer. Those brushes are like the one at Walmart. Um, I don't know what you mean by that, Arlene. I mean, I have dollar store brushes and then I have these Amazon brushes and they're all pretty much the same to me. <laughs> I bought some at the Dollar Tree. They're my favorites because they're very rigid handle. Yeah, so. Karen, it is better to donate through um paypal and do it as friends and family because we found out that youtube takes a chunk of it where you can do paypal and do um, friends and family and um we we retain more of that income yes hi gilly hi gilly all right so that card is done now. I just have to put it on a base and put some grass at the bottom and I have to trim it a little bit because it's on a really big piece of paper. What the heck? Where did I get this piece of paper from? It seems huge. <laughs> wow. Oh, it'll still fit on the card base. Normally I trim my panels down to four and to four by five and a quarter when I do my trimming that way it's ready to go this one is definitely yes. larger but it looks so good. this one I'm sending 
I'll send this one out to Roxanne since she's doing recovering Roxanne. from. I'm saying that okay. Now. now what's what's the guy's name from the police? Uh, Sting. Sting, right? He's saying Roxanne, right? Yes. <laughs> All right. Do you guys have any questions about anything we use tonight or anything that we did? Um, if you're jumping on a little late, we use the watercolor thanks, watercolor prayers, and the trees, multi-step layered trees. And I kind of walk you through how to line up the two trees. And Tracy and I did them in quite a few different color schemes. We both used um, some Alta Noon ink inks and also some Catherine Fuller inks, but certainly use the inks that you have. You can go on over to the Kitchen Sink Stamps website and they have a blog and on their blog, they actually give you different color combinations to their stamps. So you can see uh, what it looks like with using like Memento or Stampin' Up or Alta Noon, any of those. Um, what are we doing here? Do, 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 do. Oh, Kim, thank you. Yes, it's nancystamps15 at gmail.com. Thank you guys so much. Yes. Yes. Yeah, Jerry. So those of you that want to go shopping, um, when you shop, you want to put the SVG file in your basket at the same time. Normally, when you put the stamp in your basket, if you scroll all the way to the bottom of the screen, it will say suggestion, and it will suggest that SVG, the matching SVG for you, and um, it will be free at the time of purchase. If you miss it at the time of purchase, I think it's like 99 cents or a dollar, right? Okay. Um, and you want to download it as soon as you get it on your computer, you do need to download it because Maria did tell us they expire after 30 days. So you just want to make sure you download it. Um, when you click on donate to me and YouTube, it uses your email address. Oh, okay. Yeah. So it might show up as my other email address, which was my old email when I set up this, which was, uh, working mom, 2009 at gmail.com, but it is me. So if it says working mom or Nancy stamps, they are me. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, Susie, we're about halfway. We're about halfway with the contributions that we've gotten. Yes. Yeah. And Elizabeth says, make sure she's right. If you make sure you send it through friends and family, then um, PayPal doesn't charge a fee. If you send it as an invoice or receipt, there is a fee. Yep. Um, Arlene, I don't. I have this one. This is my one little bone folder that I've had forever. I think it's made out of real bone. <laughs> it's probably a good 20 years old. That's the only one I have that I use. And then I have the one that came with my score buddy. All right. Yes. Thank you, Noel. If you, and if you guys have any questions and you're watching this on the replay, you can comment down below. I've put all the links down below for kitchen sink stamps for the Catherine Pooler ink pads for the Amazon shop where our paper is linked, which is the Nina paper, as well as the accent paper, as well as the trimmer and the glue. So everything you need. And don't forget, you can download the cloud stencil from Kitchen Sink Stamps as well. And we have a little discount code there. So check back into the chat for the discount code. And um, certainly go subscribe to Stacy's channel, which is SNR Creations from the Heart. Ryan's channel, which is glitter grunge greetings chow's channel which is create with chow and of course my very special guest tonight tracy schultz all of their channels are linked below if you're not a member of our group it's the foiling snobs club on facebook that is also linked below and also the kitchen sink stamps facebook group where you're going to get a lot more inspiration from some other beautiful artwork and um yeah Thank you guys so much. We really appreciate you guys watching. Go check out Tracy's channel. We did a live yesterday with hot foiling. Don't forget that Monday night is um, Ryan's live. So tomorrow night, 7 p.m. Eastern is Ryan's live where he's going to be doing a color, a coloring page for you guys. Thank you, <clears throat> Tracy. Your cards are beautiful. 
Thank I you, Nancy. You I had the colored, you did a color border on yours. I left mine plain white. Yours are pretty. Oh, thank you. It was so much fun. I got to be live with you two nights in a row. That was awesome. Thank you. Okay, guys, if you had fun, don't forget to give us a thumbs up on your way out. If you're watching this on the replay, you can click live chat and read along to what everybody was saying. Thanks for watching and have a good night, you guys. All Bye. right. Good night. Bye.